Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up your MIDI controller and map commands to MIDI controls in Mixvibes Cross DJ2. The first thing that you need to do is open the preferences. So you're going to go and click on the cog wheel icon up on the top right. Then you're going to go to the MIDI tab. Right underneath the top menu, you'll see tabs for each MIDI device that you have plugged in. For us, we're going to be using the machine controller. Now, if you have a controller with a preset, you can simply scroll down through this list here and select the preset MIDI mappings that come with Cross DJ2. Since we're using a controller that doesn't have a preset, we're going to need to create our own. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus button here on the bottom left. Now it's going to ask us some information about this controller. I should point out that what you put into these option fields here will not actually affect the MIDI mapping itself. So we're just going to go and click OK. Cross DJ has a very simple system for mapping commands. You'll see that on the right hand here we have a tree menu that breaks down the different commands or controls into different categories. So now let's take a look at how you can actually map a control. So we're going to go to the mixer tab, then we're going to check for the one that we want, which in this case will be master volume. To actually map a control, you simply have to press the plus button next to the particular mapping that you would like. Now we have this new window and it says please move a MIDI control. So we're just going to go ahead and turn a knob on our MIDI controller. Cross DJ now knows that we want to use that particular knob for the master volume. Depending on what command you are mapping and what kind of control you are mapping it to, whether it be a knob or a fader or a button, it's going to give you different options. In this case, we're going to want this to be a direct knob. And we're going to leave the other options by the default. So we're going to go and click OK. And now when we turn this knob, you'll notice that the tab for the machine controller name highlights in green. Also, you can see that the master volume up in the top center is changing as we are moving this knob. If we wanted to go ahead and map other knobs or buttons, we simply need to find the type of control that we want to map it to. So we'll do another one here. For example, we can do a crossfader. We'll simply click plus, move a knob or button, then we can Click OK. When we exit out of the preferences here, we can then move a knob, and bam, we have a crossfader. If you would like to see more videos on Mix Vibes Cross DJ, leave a comment on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the DJ podcast, or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash the DJ podcast, and tweet us a message with what you would like to see in a future video. Thanks for watching.